Last week uh, I did a video on how I was planning to do like a trading AI agent uh, that was using Claude Code as the agent and just trying to come up with different trades we can do on like stocks with CFDs. So uh, in this video I just want to show you the results of my full week of uh, doing a few trades uh, using my AI agents and I wouldn't say this strategy is nothing like genius or special or anything like that. It's just an experiment I wanted to do and I'm gonna try over the next few weeks to iterate. And I kind of want to share my results so if you're interested uh, this video is just gonna be how we did the first week. Uh, but there, there's a lot of flaws here, some things I need to learn but uh, yeah just wanted to share the results and maybe you can take something away from this. So now the video is just gonna take off where the last one ended with my first trade and just go through the week so yeah enjoy. Okay so after some back and forward we kind of ended up on two trades uh, we are gonna do or that I did. Uh, we ended up with uh, Beyond Meat and we're gonna do a 5x leverage and on the Sofi uh, we're gonna do the 2.5 leverage. Uh, I'm gonna screen record my phone. I'm gonna show you the trades we have done so far. Okay, so you can see this is the Sofi trade we did. You can see we did a 29.98 opening price here. And if you look at the stop loss, we're gonna do 27.5 and the take profit is just gonna be as high as it gets, I guess. For the Beyond Meat, this is a 2. Point, uh, if you go to Beyond Meat, 2.08 now. We're gonna do uh, an entry price, I think, at 1.9 if we go down there. Uh, so that is basically the strategy. Okay, so there's like five minutes now until the market open. We have our trades for today. Uh, but first, let's check out how we did yesterday. So uh, I made a simple tracker here, so we can zoom in a bit. We made two dollars. On our trade so we had like this so far long here uh, the entry was 29.98 we exited at 30.06 so a very low volatility trade even though we have 2.5 leverage yeah we made two dollars uh, <laughs> to be honest I forgot to close out the uh, beyond me trade so I'm gonna do that now when the market opens and I'm gonna add that into the day two overview uh, but so far, I guess we are in profits. So let's take a look at today, uh, the today's trades. So uh, the first one is going to be to go long UPS. And I have uh, done the trades. I'm going to pull up on the screen here afterwards, like a screenshot. And you can see, uh, yeah, we're going to go in with 5S leverage. We're going to do $1,200 exposure. Uh, and again, it wants to short beyond the meat so I guess we're just gonna try that again yesterday we went long we'll see soon uh, I guess next episode how that went but uh, this time we're gonna try to go short so yeah I guess that's the update for day two so I'm gonna keep updating day three four and five and then we're gonna do like a final thing okay so uh, yeah we are on day three so I was just looking at Nvidia here this is uh, looking very good pre-market uh, but I want to take up one thing because uh, yeah uh, I made some changes so today we're gonna try to do a long short hedge pair workflow so we're gonna find one stock to go short and one to go long over the intraday so we can do this uh, kind of inside the same sector let's see so I have started this workflow here now to look for uh, pairs we can uh, do a long short trade on. Uh, but we have to look how it went yesterday and not good news because yeah, we lost $45. So that means uh, our yeah overall now is at minus 43. Uh, one thing that happened is I was gonna place the Beyond Meat trade but I don't know what happened, it wasn't registered. So we only ended up, ended up with the UPS trade that lost us $45. This actually went to stop loss. So it, we kind of automatically was uh, sold out of this trade. Uh, but I had a quick look. If we had stayed in, we wouldn't have survived anyway. Uh, but now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just let this run. And we're going to find the pair we're going to hedge today. And I'm going to place the bets. So let's just wait and see what that's going to be. Okay, so these are the trades we're going to do. We're going to do long SoFi and short PayPal. Uh, we have already entered. So I'm going to bring that up on the screen here. 
You can see we started pretty good from the start here on PayPal and we're a bit down on SoFi, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna let it run and have the stop losses target kind of where we, if we uh, strike out, that's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. So that is gonna be the trade. So yeah, I guess you will see how this went in just a second. I have to wait eight hours. Okay, so the market has closed and as you can see, I think we did pretty good here to be honest. Uh, we ended up with, uh, we're going so far long, right? We lost $15 on that trade. But since we have kind of did that hedged thing, uh, we also had uh, PayPal uh, short. So what we ended up with with the PayPal short uh, trade uh, was $31 plus, right? So we ended up with like $15 in profit. And yeah, I think this shows that this strategy can work. And I think we gotta continue with this the rest of the week. And if we move this over here to our, yeah, total now, you can see we are still in the red. And that was mostly because of the long UPS trade we did that went minus 45. Uh, but we are up to two winning trades, two losing trades, and we did uh, reduce the loss a bit. And yeah, hopefully at the end of the week we can be in the green. So let's just wait and see. Uh, but now I want to show you the trade we're going to do today uh, because I have calculated that. And again, it's going to be like a long short trade or like a short long trade. Uh, we're going to do short CQQQ. This is like the Chinese, uh, what do you call it, like tech. Um, yeah, some kind of ETF. And we're going to do long gold, right? So I'm just going to bring up the, um, uh, the trades here on the screen. And as you can see, uh, this is what I'm gonna place. So hopefully this uh, is gonna be good. And let's just let this run for a while. Let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna take you back uh, when this is completed. So for you, again, that's gonna be a second. For me, it's gonna be uh, some hours. So uh, we are now on the last uh, trading day. Uh, so this is Friday, 31st of October, I guess. So yeah, as you can see on the screen, these are yesterday's trade, and yeah, we did pretty good. You can't really see it here, but uh, the gold long uh, was pretty good, at least $12 up. And you can see the differences between the other two trades. Uh, it was about $20. So yeah, that was a green and green trade. So we went gold long and we shorted the tech Chinese ETF. So if we go out to a tracker now, you can see if we add all this up, we are 676, yay, dollars in profit for the week with four winning trades and two losing trades. So yeah, we added those here, Q, C, Q, Q short and gold long, perfect. So that is pretty interesting. And today is the final day. If we can just keep in the green today, that means that we have a profitable week. Uh, we're not gonna, we can't really quit our daytime job here and <laughs> live off this, but uh, it's pretty fun anyway. And I think I'm gonna continue doing this because I had a lot of fun with it. So let's bring up today's trades. Uh, I just had a look and we're gonna do these trades today. So we're gonna continue with this kind of same sector hedge bet where we do a long short trade or a short long, call it what you want. So today's selection was uh, VDC and STX. I have learned something this week. I'm gonna share that uh, on tomorrow's breakdown. And I think I have a new strategy for next week that's gonna maybe be a bit better. I'm at least eager to try it out. But now, uh, for you, it's just gonna be a few seconds. We can see how this trade went. And we gotta kinda conclude the first week. Uh, it's been a real blast so far, so I'm gonna do a conclusion and see how we did and talk a bit about what's gonna happen next. But yeah, see you in a sec. And that was the end of the week. So as you can see on the last day, we were pretty, I'm just gonna call it lucky because I don't really know what I'm doing here, but we did well. Uh, we ended up in a, what I would say is a nice profit here from this trade. So uh, if we go check out the CFD trade tracker now, yeah, we are almost $47 up, right? Uh, uh, there are some small decimal errors here, like, but uh, the main thing is we ended up with five winning trades and three losing trades. So, uh, and a few missed trades. I'm not so, uh, have so much experience on this platform, but it's getting better. So I would say 
after this first week. Uh, I really enjoy this. I had a lot of fun with it. Basically, that was the point. And I think there are ways to iterate. So I made some plans for next week. I'm going to try to iterate. So let me just show you kind of my initial plan I want to try out. So this just comes from my first week of observations. And of course, this has nothing to do with strategy, the way you should do things. This is just my experience. And that is kind of exactly what you see here. We're just going to find our trading pair. We go short long, we're going to find the direction. If it's short, we're going to cut the long. If it's long, we're going to cut the short. Just going to try it out. Just see how it goes for like five trading days. So that is just going to be my strategy. Super simple, nothing fancy. And it's just going to be interesting to see where this goes. Uh, I also have some small adjustments to the context. So one thing I started with was... Uh, let me, I can just close this. So one thing I started is I'll give, give this uh, right before we run the agent. I'm going to give it like a few front pages of like say CNBC. We can do Bloomberg I think. Yahoo Finance and Bloomberg. So just some front pages with some futures and some headlines just before the market opens. That is one other thing I added. And that's pretty much it. Nothing fancy or anything like that. Just some, yeah, experiments. And I've been playing around with my custom instructions. If you saw the previous video. So that now this is more of like a, yeah, we're going to do a trading pair on like a long short hedge strategy every week. So nothing about this is, uh, there's no beta, there's no alpha, there's no edge or there's nothing like this it's just me having fun with using uh cloud code and agents to make trades with there is no edge here i think at least not yet can't see any edge but i'm having fun with it that is uh, the most important part and it's pretty low risk i'm not risking like huge money but if you want to follow along check it out next week i'm probably going to do a video from day one to five again uh, i'm not going to do it in like two steps as i did now I'm just going to record every day and we're going to do the conclusion at the end of the week. That is my plan. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this short uh, experiment, give this video a like. And yeah, hopefully I see you again next week where we can continue updating our trade tracker here. So, yeah, enjoy your day and we speak soon.